Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching. Now I realize that it's been too long since my last video, it's been a really crazy month for me and I can share, you, share with you guys that sadly in this month my beloved dear mother passed away. So yeah, I took some time for myself and for my family, but I do want to start getting back to business and there's a new feature that is about uh, to be released, it's still in release candidate, that I'm super excited about, I've been waiting for it a long time, so I wanted to quickly jump on YouTube to talk about this new feature, and I'm talking about uh, a feature in Unify Network uh, 7.5.187, and there's a lot going on in this feature, but I want to focus about this feature, Wi-Fi private pre-shared keys. Now this is one of these features that really is a game changer or a network changer because uh, let's talk about the, what the reality is today and we'll also uh, realize how this feature changes it because this feature allows us basically to have one single Wi-Fi SSID and different passwords and according to the password that you type when you try to connect this will actually guide your or uh, lead you towards the network that we want uh, to bind you to. Let's quickly jump on to my Unify controller. Now, please keep in mind that this is at least currently still in release candidate, but it's about to be released, my guess is in, in the next few days. So I'll jump over to my uh, controller and you'll go to settings. And this is actually the reality today. If you want to create different networks for different type of devices, for example, IoT networks or clients or guests, we need currently to create a Wi-Fi network and then bind it or attach it to the desired network. For example, this Wi-Fi SSID leads or binds to the IoT VLAN that I created. And this Wi-Fi SSID is for my internal clients and this SSID go away leads to my guest network. This is the reality today. Now, this new feature, and of course, I'm already, uh, I, or I already updated my uh, network uh, application to the release candidate version. And now what I'm able to do right now is create a new Wi-Fi SSID and let's call it pre-shared keys, that will be my SSID. And now I'm going to change the advanced from auto to manual. And I'll click this checkbox right here under uh, next to private pre-shared keys. And now let's start creating the actual, let's say, routing of networks. So for my clients, I'm now selecting a password and I will click on add. And for my IoT network, I'll select a different password and I'll click on add. And for my guest network, I'll select a different password and I'll click on add and save all other Wi-Fi settings is exactly like we're used to on Unify Networks in regards to, for example, band steering, etc, etc. Everything remains exactly the same. And I'll click on Add Wi-Fi Network. In regards to the creation of this new type of Wi-Fi network, we're actually done. So let me jump over to my mobile phone and let's uh, take it from there. I'll uh, connect to my Wi-Fi network uh, firstly with the, the first password and then I'll forget the network, connect again and we see that I'm getting a, an IP address from a different network each time. Let's go ahead. So let me open my Wi-Fi network section in my settings. All right, so here's my new SSID, pre-shared keys. So I'll connect to it and I'll enter my first password. And I'll click on connect. 
All right, so I'm connected and let's, let's click on the gear icon because I do want to see what IP address I got. And indeed, I'm getting my IoT network, an IP address, sorry, for my, for my IoT subnet. Now let's go ahead and forget this network. And let me try to connect using a different password. And let's click on connect. And once I logged into my uh, guest network splash screen, let's click on the gear icon. And let's click on more info. And indeed, I got an IP address, this time from my guest network subnet. So this feature currently, it's still in release candidate, but it works. Now, I'm not saying that it's not without its issues. I myself got several times error messages when I wanted to connect to my Wi-Fi network. So I'm sure there's something going on and still needs to improve. But overall, this feature works and it's, at least in my opinion, it's sort of a, a game changer in the Wi-Fi world where we'll start seeing more and more single SSIDs, but the network admins will still be, still be able to control which client actually goes onto which network. So guys, that's it for me and thank you so much for being with me and hit the like button button if you like this video join us on social media on our facebook groups and join and follow me on twitter and i hope to see you all on my next video bye everyone